fellow collectors, welcome back to another TTM show. TTM stands for Through the Mail. These are Through the Mail autographs. And I got here in the box seven TTM from former Major League Baseball players. I hope you're well today. Welcome back to another TTM Tuesday. If you don't know what TTM is, it's Through the Mail autographs. I got autographs and sports players through the mail. I use um, a site called sportscollectors.net for most of my addresses. There's a few other good sites there too. You could check out sportscardforum.com as well. And we're going on to TTM number one here. This is Mr. Rich Reese. Here I've got him on this 89 um, Pacific Legends card. Mr. Rich Reese out of Phoenix, Arizona. One for one, 36 days no fee so Mr. Reitz um, played in the 60s and 70s he had a career year in 1969 when he hit 322 with a 513 Suggins percentage for the division winning twins Richard Benjamin Reese he was born on September 29th 1941 in Ohio I don't see what that says there um, he was left-handed batter, first baseman, and he's a he, Reese is an answer to a baseball trivia question. Uh, if you ever get this question, he has the dubious distinction of being the 383rd strikeout victim, Nolan Ryan, in the 1973 season as Ryan clips the single-seeker record of Sandy Koufax. Mr. Reese as well as tied for the career all-time best in pinch-hit home runs with three. Um, grand slams, I mean. Thank you much, very much, Mr. Reese. I do appreciate your TTM return. TTM number two, we have Mr. Bobby Shantz here in the 1960 Tops. Looking nice with blue ink out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is one for one, and he didn't ask for some questions, which I'll get to in a moment. Took seven days, no fee. Mr. Chance was a, a pitcher. He excelled as a starter and reliever during his major league career. He was a 1952 AL MVP, posting a 24 and 7 record and a remarkable 27 complete games and 33 starts for one of the worst teams in Phil franchise history for the Athletics. Mr. Sh he was born September 26, 1925. At the time of this video, he was 96 years young, out of Pottstown. Pennsylvania. He was a left-handed throw-in pitcher. Um, another interest, he played with the A's, Yankees, Pirates, Colt 45s. He was the first start in the Colt 45s Astros history. And he just stood at 5'6", 139 pounds, I was reading. What, and I asked him, what kind of teammate was Mickey Mantle? He played with Mickey Mantle. Did you have any good stories playing with Mickey? Mickey was a great player. No stories, thank goodness. Best memories with the Yankees. Greatest four years of my life, three times World Series. Also another interesting thing about Mr. Chance, he was a great fielder as well. He went, won eight gold gloves as a pitcher. And this is probably my second or third time getting back from Mr. Chance. I love the looks of that 1960s there. So it blends in a little bit with the back, but that's okay. I love those 1960s tops. Uh, Mr. Chance, a great TTMer. Still going strong at 96 years young. Thank you, Mr. Chance. TTM number three, we have Mr. Gary Sutherland here on the 1976 Tops and in Blue Ink. This is out of Santa Clarita, California. This is one card sent, one card signed. 21 days, no fee. And Mr. Sutherland was a steady and dependable second baseman who had his best seasons with the Tigers in the mid-1970s. He was a brother of pitcher Daryl Sutherland and, and scout Dale Sutherland, and son of my, my, minor league pitcher Rolf Sutherland. This is Gary Lee Sutherland. He was born September 27, 1944, coming up on his 78th birthday in Glendale, California. He was a right-handed bat and throw in second baseman, played from 1966 to 1978 with the Phillies, Expos, Astros, Tigers, Brewers, Padres, and Cardinals. Looking nice there. He was a career 243 hitter with 24 homers, 239 RBIs. 
Thank you very much, Mr. Sutherland. I, that's a great looking signature there on the 76, another one. Get as many as these 76 signed as I can. As I get more 76 cards, I try to get them signed. We're on to TTM number four. We have Mr. Daryl Evans here on the 1976 tops and the 1978 tops. This is out of North Texas, Dallas, Texas. Two cards sent, two cards signed. 35 days, no fee. Daryl Evans was a low average slugger who hit 414 career home runs in his major league career. Though he had, he got on base a lot too. He had 361 a career on base percentage. Walked a lot. He had a career high 41 home runs at the Braves in 1973. This is Daryl Wayne Evans. He was a right, left handed bat and third baseman, first baseman, born May 26, 1947 in Pasadena, California. He played from 1969 to 1989 with the Atlanta Braves, San Francisco Giants, and Detroit Tigers. He was a two-time All-Star. He um, he had a career-high 41 home runs, like I said, in 73 in the league and walks in two, 73 and 74. And he led the league, AL, the Tigers in home runs with 40 at the age of 38 in 1985. And he won the World Series with the World Series win in Detroit Tigers in 1984. And great looking signatures here. TTM number five we're on to now. We have Mr. Jim Colburn. Nice looking signature there on this 1976 tops. That looks great with the blue sky in the background, the blue Brewers hat and uniform on his uniform. One card sent, one card signed. 32 days, no fee out of Santa Clarita, California. And Mr. Carbon was a highlight of his career. He was a 20 game winner with the Brewers. He was the first 20 game winner with the Brewers in franchise history in 1973. Need to shout out to Lindendale. He made the All Star team that year. And he pitched no hitter with the Royals in 1977. This is James William Colburn. He was born on May 22, 1945, in Santa Paula, California. He's a right handed thrown pitcher, played for 1969. In 1978, with the Cubs, Brewers, Royals, and Mariners, and he's part of the Milwaukee Brewers Wall of Honor. Wall of Honor. Um, he served. He also, um, <laughs> interesting fact, he appeared in the movie for the love of the game as the Tigers' third base coach in the 1999 movie. Answer a few questions. Did you keep the game ball for the 77 no hitter? Do you have his play? He kept it. It's in the uh, ball. Baseball Hall of Fame, he thinks. Favorite pitchers to work with as a pitching coach. He was a pitching coach later on with Eric Gagne, Greg Maddox, and Jamie Moyer. And what did he think of the limits they put on starting rotation? He said, he said, these people are smarter than me when I pitch over co complete, completed 20 plus games and pitching 300 innings. So who knows? When I pitch, many arms were worth $80,000. Now they're worth millions. Thank you, Mr. Colburn. Do appreciate you taking your time to sign my cards here. We next TTM six. We got Mr. Ted Sizemore here on the '76 tops and the 1980 tops with my bow socks. This was two cards sent, two cards signed. Took 27 days, no fee, out of St. Louis, Missouri. Mr. Sizemore was a 1969 NL Rookie of the Year with the Los Angeles Dodgers and. He also played with a um, couple of division winning Phillies team in the 77, 78 years. This is Ted Crawford Sizemore. He was born April 15th, 1945 in Gads Gadsden, Alabama. He was a right handed bat and second baseman, played from 1969 to 1980 with the Dodgers, Cardinals, Phillies, Cubs, and Red Sox. He, he, he was a career 262 hitter with 23 homers, 430 RBIs, and he also went on to join Rollins Sporting Goods after his career and became a senior executive with Rollins as well. So thank you so much, Mr. Sizemore. The first time I've got back from Mr. Sizemore, and I had to get one on my bow socks as well. And we have finally, not last but not least, we have Mr. Steve Renko. Here we have him on the 1976 tops. So it kind of blends in with the uniform there a little bit, but it still looks great on the 1980 with my bow socks. Two cards sent, two cards signed, 16 days. 
Nofi out of Kansas City, Missouri. He has a distinction to be the last pitcher to bat 7th or higher in the Major League game until the feat was duplicated by Don Dontra Willis on September 22, 2005. He did it on August 26, 1973 and went 2 for 3 against the San Diego Padres. He was a good hitter as well as a pitcher. And this is Steve Rankle Jr. who was born December 10, 1944 in Kansas City, Kansas. He was a right-handed throwing pitcher, played from 1969 to 1983 with the Expos, Cubs, White Sox, A's, Red Sox, and Angels. He, was, he won a career 134 games at a 3.99 ERA, 1,455 strikeouts. He was one of the best pitcher, pitchers of his generation. He had a career 215 with six homers and 42 ribbies and 531 career bats. He was a pretty darn good pitcher as well. Thank you, Mr. Ranko. Second time I've gotten back from him. So, thank you, Mr. Reese. Thank you, Mr. Shantz. Thank you, Mr. Sutherland. Thank you, Mr. Evan. Thank you, Mr. Colburn. Thank you, Mr. Sizemore. Thank you, Mr. Ranko. And thank you, subscriber, viewer, for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like and hit that bell when you subscribe. I'll talk to you really soon. Thank you for jo not joining me. Take care. God bless. Peace.